Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is Popina and Slumberina by Irital, illustrated by Annette Davis. In the kingdom of Nimbusoy, great gladness and joy. Born to King Poppy and Queen Mina, a sweet baby princess named Popina. To mark the occasion and celebrate, in the royal palace precisely at eight, a big party was held. Everyone was excited and all of the VIPs were invited. To the royal party, each of the guests brought a wonderful gift for the little princess. A giant named Clemens brought Pepina a basket of lemons. From an elf named Sunny, she received a jar of honey. From the fairy Daradel, Pepina got a silver bell. And the juggler, Snail, brought her a shell. She could hide in very well. The great wizard MacDowd gave Papina a rainbow in her clouds that appears outside her window like a bright balloon every Sunday in the afternoon. The pixie, Mischief, brought Papina a gift. She could share with the neighbours candies in all flavours. But the present Papina loved most of all was a blanket she got from her uncle Paul. It was green as the grass and soft as a sigh, as fluffy as the cloud that floats in the sky. Carrying it around was such a pleasure, the little blanket was Pepina's treasure. Pepina loved her blanket and named her Slumberina. No ordinary blanket would do for Pepina. Oh no, Slumberina was special indeed. She had magical powers for times of need. When Pepina was sad or something upset her, Slumberina could always make her feel better. When mum and dad were hard at work in the castle, running a kingdom can be quite a hassle. Pepina missed them but knew how busy they were, so she hugged Slumberina and Slumberina hugged her. Pepina and Slumberina were the best of friends, together each day from beginning to end. Pepina hugged Slumberina tight, Slumberina covered Pepina just right. They went to sleep together each night and woke up as one in the morning light. The days went by and years went past. Princess Pepina was growing up fast, but Slumberina didn't grow at all. As time went by, she just stayed small. You're You're a a big big girl now, Pepina, Pepina, said Mum and Dad one day. It's time you went to preschool to learn and laugh and play. You'll make new friends, girls and boys, sing funny songs and play with cool toys. Of preschool, Pepina was a little scared. She didn't know anyone there. She was afraid she'd be lonely and wouldn't belong. So she decided to take Slumberina along. When it was time to go to preschool as planned, Pepina gripped Slumberina and held her mum's hand. At the preschool door, mum said goodbye to Pepina and the princess held on tight to Slumberina. When all the kids had come in, the teacher said, Hi everyone, let's begin and sang them a funny tune about a lollipop named June who met up with a dog named Rover and ended up getting licked all over. The kids all laughed and clapped, except for Pepina, whose hands were busy holding Slumberina. When the teacher and children held hands to form a ring, Pepina just held Slumberina and missed out on everything. When the kids all played tag on the grass outside, Pepina and Slumberina sat alone on the side. At the end of the day, when preschool was done, parents picked up their kids one by one. Dad came in and said to Pepina, Let's go. But on the way home, something happened. Oh no! Slumberina accidentally slipped out of Pepina's hand and it was a very bad place to land. She fell in the dirt at the sidewalk's edge and was covered in mud and leaves under a hedge. To make matters worse, two snails who wanted to go for a ride saw a fold in the blanket and crawled inside. When the family got back home, Pepina needed a nap, so she sat on her bed with Slumberina in her lap. But before she could lie down and close her eyes, Pepina was in for a big surprise. When she spread Slumberina, two snails crawled out. With a family of ants that scurried about. The little blanket was dirty and didn't feel nice. She needed to be washed, maybe even twice. Pepina sat alone, thoughts running through her head, thinking maybe, just maybe, Slumberina's place is on the bed. But it would be hard to leave Slumberina each day. 
What could Peppina do? She had to find a way. Peppina thought hard and for very long, and then she said loud and clear, I am strong. I'm loved and I'm a big girl now. Whatever I want to do, I'm sure I'll know how. I can go to preschool. I can make new friends. I can face my fears and I'll be fine in the end. The next day, Peppina woke up and decided to try to go to preschool and tell Slumberina goodbye. And guess what? When she got there and went through the gate... A new school day began and Peppina felt great. Without Slumberina, her hands were free to swing on the swing that hung from the tree, to build with blocks and hold hands with friends and to help the teacher clean up in the end. And what, you might ask about Slumberina? She was right there in bed waiting for Peppina. The end. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.